This is just a quick warning for those of you who've been following my other video on how to flash 20 amp speed controllers with the latest Simon K firmware. Uh, this screen should look familiar to you in the other video that I talked about that um, I've linked to. Um, this is the way I described how to do it. Now this is the actual tool that you knew, that you use to do it. It's the KK Multicopt Flash Tool. This is uh, 0.72, I think 0.74 is actually available now. But what I wanted to do was very quickly show you um, a little bit of a problem that I've been having so that you don't fall into the same trap. When I flash the ESCs, and you'll notice in the other video, I actually used this version of the speed controller, which is dated the 20th of the 9th, 2013. Now, I have had a lot of problems with this version of the firmware. My model would take off, and then one of the motors would start pulsing, and that side of the motor would fall, and the, the whole model would then just essentially tip over in the sky and fall to the ground. Now, to try and fix this, I tried a couple of things. I thought I must have made a problem when I flashed the ESC, so I reflashed the ESCs. I checked all the wiring to the motors and the ESCs themselves. I checked the wiring on the Sirius board because I was actually using the Sirius Multi Wii SE version 2 board at that point. Then I resoldered all the bullets to the ESCs, balanced the props and motors, blah blah blah. I'm not going to go through this whole list. This is probably about 10 days of troubleshooting where I replaced pretty much every component on the entire quadcopter. I was starting to think that it was just cursed. And then the last, almost the last thing I did, I ordered four new Afro ESCs from Hobby King to replace these four that I'd been using. Because I, I couldn't get over the feeling that it was the ESCs themselves that were having the problem. And then it dawned on me that I hadn't made a quadcopter um, for about six, eight weeks. So the last time I'd updated um, an ESC, I hadn't used this version um, of the 20th of the 9th, um, 2013. I'd actually used this one, which is version uh, the 15th of the 5th, 2013, because the last one I actually made was August time. Um, so this was the version I've used. So what I did is I then I reflashed the four ESCs with this version of the firmware and they have performed fantastically. So I wanted to put this video up to say, look, if you are going to flash your ESCs and you're following my instructions, please don't use um, the 90, uh, the, the 2013 20 version. Use the one that's uh, 2013 515. Um, you can by all means try the later one, but if you have any problems at all with the motor pulsing or losing control or it taking off and appearing to hover then suddenly falling out of the sky to one side, um, try this older version. It's worked a lot better for me. So thank you for watching. I hope that solves some of the problems out there for you. Um, I got myself in a right mess. I was trying different uh, controllers, different PIDs. I was trying to get rid of all the vibration. Went round and round and round. And ultimately, I'd flashed a version of the firmware that the ESCs weren't happy with. So please post any comments or suggestions and subscribe. Happy flying.